For more than 30 years, Ruth E. Carter has made bold statements with her costume designs, but it was her Afrofuturistic vision that turned a world from what is into a world of what if and earned her the Oscar. I'm Madison Madden, and this is Artistic Encounters. Cindy, thank you for joining us today. I am such a huge fan of costume design and fashion, but this exhibit's a little bit different because it really focuses on Afrofuturism. Tell me about that. Well, it's been an honor at the Tommy Museum of Art to have Ruth E. Carter and costume design, Afrofuturism and costume design here, and really hearing um, Ruth E. Carter's story. And I had the pleasure of sitting down with her and being able to, to interview, and I'd love to share her voice in terms of what Afrofuturism means to her. And she defines Afrofuturism as using technology and intertwining it with imagination, self-expression, and an entrepreneurial spirit, promoting a philosophy for Black Americans, Africans, and Indigenous people to believe and create without limiting construct of slavery and colonialism. And it's absolutely incredible that she came here to the Taubman Museum and that we have this, this amazing exhibit. How did you get it? It was an exciting development. So um, we worked directly with Ruth E. Carter and her team along with SCAD Fash in Atlanta where it opened. And we were the first of the traveling exhibition. So we really was a collaborative as we brought it in, made some um, adjustments as well. And so really um, being able to highlight Ruth E. Carter's um, amazing career and retrospective of, of a, you know almost four decades of costume design. Right, and they're so powerful and they really bring quite the social impact. What do you hope that that extends into Roanoke? So that it has been a very positive community response and not only from Roanoke, from the region and we've received calls from different states of, of asking, you know, how long is it going to be open and people traveling in. Um, we're doing a webinar for all HBCUs in the nation, um, you know, to really tell the story of that creative process. So it's affected, you know, our schools here. We have a tour after tour coming in of elementary to high high school to college. I think that's wonderful. And there are so many costumes here. How many exactly? So it's right over 60. Um, and there are, you know, numerous movies that, you know, she has done the design for um, over those nearly four decades from The Butler to Malcolm X to her very first one with Do the Right Thing. Yes. Is there, do you have a personal favorite? It is really hard to pick. And, you know, Ruth says the same thing when you ask her that. And I think everybody that comes in, you know, you, you turn every corner and you say, wow, she did that and that. But, you know, one of the highlights is really the Black Panther. And so one of my favorites is the queen and how, you know, she collaborated because that is one of her themes is collaboration with illustrators, with artists, um, with the team on the set. And she's very hands on. So that 3D uh, mantle and headset um, really goes into digital um, design and fashion of, of the upcoming age. Right. And I believe we're standing right in front exactly. of Exactly. amazing. I'm a huge Marvel fan, so of course I'm excited to stand in front of Black Panther. But one of the things that I have noticed with her is her extreme detail in historic uh, learning about the history behind the costumes. Do you expand on that a little. So that's something that I, I deeply admire about Ruthie Carter is her in-depth historical research. She is really an expert storyteller. She harnesses that, that um, opportunity for visual communication through the story narratives of culture, race, and politics. And with Malcolm X, she spent time reading every single letter that he wrote as he was in the correctional facility. and. and and really, you know, for, to, to embody through the costume telling that historical, um, you know, story. Yeah, she's an incredible visual storyteller. Yes. And I heard her say when she came here that it started in her bedroom as a child with a little sewing machine and then ended with an Oscar dress, which you have right here in the museum. So incredible. What do you hope as 
as our community is walking through, what do you hope they experience? How do you hope they feel? So it's really, you know, that storytelling again. And, you know, not only of each movie that she's embodied each of the actors in in that, in that costume design, but also her creative process. From the sewing machine that she doubled up as her school time um, desk to that creative storytelling of the process, you hear her voice throughout the exhibition in different video clips, and you're able to, you know, dive into each of those movies where she was that key element of costume design, and, and as you said, you know, ending with her um, dress that she wore when she accepted the Oscar um, for best costume design for the Black Panther. Well, tell our viewers how they can come see these costumes in person. We have till April 3rd, I believe. That is correct. So at the Tama Museum of Art, we are open on Fridays and Saturdays, 10 to 5, and Sundays, 12 to 5. We do tours all throughout the week um, in, in terms of by, you know, by booking, of course. And then that last weekend, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, we have extended hours. So we have a first Friday where we're open until 9 p.m. and then continuing that on April 2nd and 3rd, both of those days from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And, you know, it, it's, it's an, an opportunity for families to come in and also individuals, you know, from driving in, um, but also, you know, really our local community to see the Afrofuturism in costume design by Ruthie Carter and all children, 17 and under, are free into the exhibition. Cindy, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that you will come out and take a look at this incredible exhibit, walk through history, and enjoy the costumes of Ruth E. Carter.